So we're in the middle of the uh, the trait, the midal of Hashem called the Yesod. Right? So he says over here, so we said that the Yesod is Har Tzion, right? The Mount of Tzion. And we said the Mount of Tzion has to be connected to Hara Moriah, the mountain of Moriah, where your yeshiva is looking at every day. It's a Zahut, you're looking at the Malchut and the Yesod every day. So you, you don't even need you don't even need a tikkun you just you just go to Har Tzion, you stand over there and you say the tefillah, the tikkun brit, and that's it. Your tefillah goes straight up. You're standing on the yesod. No, Har Tzion, where David the Melech is. That's it's called Mount Zion, right? I'm right or wrong? Well, if you have kavana, yes. Every four steps in Eretz Israel. It's not Kavanot, you could do it. <laughs> it says here, soon we're going to go. That Kamida Azot, this Mida de Yesod, Al Hayota Mida Le Avot, it was the Mida of the Avot Akdoshim, Avraham, Mitzak, and Yaakov. Yes, in the bottom. The Imanik Nasushoshan, the Kabel Korahad, the Kalkov, and Merkava. Through keeping their yesod, their brit milah, correctly, right? And connecting the malchut to the yesod, because they did that, they were zoche Avraham to get chesed, his trait, Yitzchak, Givura, the left, Yaakov, Tiferet, the middle. Only because they had the zechut, they had the, the zechut, they had the avodah of connecting the trait of malchut, kingship, and yesod, foundation, of the sphere of the upper powers, only because of that they each reach their part in the chariot of God. Mm. Another name for the Yesod, the other name for it is the word Kol. Kol, what does Kol mean in Hebrew? Kol, yeah. kol, not Kol as voice, but Kol as in everything. Hakol, Bakol, that's why we say, I think he's going to mention over here, by the Avod, what do we say by the Avod? Bakol, Mikol, Kol. Where do we say that? Berkat Amazon. Now you understand why the rabbi put it inside Berkat Amazon? Unbelievable. And where we are. Imagine. With this, we saw the Berkat Amazon? What? With this, Amazon? And not fixing the Yesod, but we're mentioning how the Avot all were Mechaber, the Yesod with the Malchut. You could daven at that point and say to Hashem, be Mezakeh Otigam. It's very hard to be, you know, I remember learning Rabbi Udaftaya's book, Minchat Yehuda. He was in Baghdad back in the day. Baghdad. A city of Tzadikim, Kedoshim, holy people. One of the souls that he was dealing with told him, and the zechut of 50 tzaddikim in this city that never were doing an avera in their bridge milah, the whole city stands. Not with goyot. Yeah. They never did. And the zechut of only 50. No, wasting seed, that's true. That's true, but wasting seed, it's the biggest pegam is goyot. Yosef at Tzadik, even though the Zerah came out of him, he was still called Tzadik. We called Yosef at Tzadik because he overcame the the desire to be with, uh, with the Goya. That's why he's called a Tzadik. But the Zerah came out of him. Or else why would he come back as Rabbi Ishmael Kohen Gadol and have his face ripped off? He was the cause. He was the cause. Yosef. Cause? Cause. Mm-hmm. Avraham Avinu was so afraid not to be with a woman that's Tameh, that when Timna, Timna, was a princess, she came to him and said, convert me, marry me. He said, you're not. I thought she came to Yaakov. Huh? Also to Avraham, Tag, Yaakov, all of them. She was old enough? Whatever, I don't know what Gerut was back then. It doesn't matter, what's the difference? She was old enough? Huh? She was old enough she was old enough I don't know, but uh, it could be there were two different Timnas. 
could be. <coughs> <coughs> By then not going to the mikvah. Well, she accepted upon herself one Hashem, one God. That was probably conversion back then. So, so why didn't they accept? Abraham didn't want to see because she was Tamar. She was from the descendants of Elif of of incest. He didn't want to touch that thing. Yeah, Moshe Rabbeinu so was so married to an Ethiopian princess. Queen, I'm sorry. 40 years. You know, Moses was married to a black woman. Yeah. For 40 years, he didn't touch her with his finger. He's actually black. Man, no kids? No. Yeah, but she was Ethiopian. Who? Who? That's Rashi says, that's Sibora. What the Arya Kador says, like the Mamlo is. That was a black woman, yeah. Exactly. We're talking about Sibora? Maybe for you. <laughs> If you want, we can send you to Africa. <laughs> you guys, like, you want to exile? Huh? Yaakov Avinu, Yosef HaTzadik, Yaakov Avinu. He also, he didn't want Timna. He had, whoever is with a Goya, the land of Israel spits him out. What? What are you doing for? Okay, what, well, you think the land is not going to spit him out? That's it. Oh, uh, you, you want me to count you every single? Hashem runs the time. Not I mean, I know someone that was You heard that? So Hashem so runs the time. Give, give him some time. They're all gonna. No, I don't know someone who's going. He's the way here. Huh? I don't know someone who's going. Yeah, he's the way here. Maybe the teshuva. Teshuva, probably. You don't know. They were, we think the Christ will have another kibbutz. He did it. If a person was kicked out, he did a few some other kibbutz. We're still paying for them. Getting. It was worth it just not to be Metameh himself with Timna. How's that? How's that? But she, she created Amalek. Tim, Tim, because, she because she created Amalek. Deep down, Timna had a Nitzotz Kedusha inside of her. Okay, so she, she did. Deep down, she did. But it wasn't something that they wanted to deal with. Many times we see stories of great righteous people, they don't want to deal with certain cases. I, had, I heard a story, just listen. There was a big rabbi, when the Baba Sali died, he said, this rabbi, go to him. His name was Avram Fish. You ever heard of him, or Avram Fish? He's buried in Sfas. Yeah, he was very big, so he, was, he was very big in Sudar Ravid. If you wanna get a bracha from him, you gotta go to him in Sudar Ravid. His house, he lived in a small apartment in Bnei Brak. his house was packed, packed. He couldn't go in there. If he would give you shirayim, his leftovers from the fish, you know you had the uh, big zehud. He had this whole big thing on Sudar Ravid. He would light like 14 candles for all the kings of David Amelad's dynasty. He was very big in Sudar Ravid. One time, I heard the story from a guy that it happened to him. One guy, my sister's father-in-law happened to him. His friend, family member, got into big uh, problems with the Israeli government. I don't know, he did money laundering in a big scale. I don't know, some big, something big, some scam. The guy was supposed to go to prison for many years. Like he was in the trial. Now Israeli trial is not like here. If over here is corrupted, over there they give the cake to corruption. I once heard from an Israeli government official, the mafia in Israel makes the Sicilian mafia look like children. I once heard this from an uh, Israeli government in the Knesset. The Israeli mafia makes the Sicilian, the, they created a mafia. They make them look like children. Anyways, I don't want to get into that. So this guy was into some big stuff. So my, my sister's father-in-law took him to many big rabbis to bless him, you know, to get out of the problem. Every time he would go to a rabbi, he said, I'm going to give you not a donation, it's called Pidyon Nefesh. I say pity on Nefesh. Like, uh, I give you money, pray for me. Like a, like a, like a trade. Redemption right? Himself. Right, but like to understand. The first thing the rabbi would ask, show him Shabbos money. How you made the money? If he said to him, not show him Shabbos, is in it. I can't deal with it. Ah, who oh, he? I can't help you. Not that I can't help you. I don't know how to, how to help you with such a thing. When they got to Avram Fish, he took the money. 
he took it. And at the end, he came out of it. He came out of his thing. But what I'm trying to bring the story for, you saw the, all the other rabbis that didn't want to deal with the situation because they had, the Kalipa was too strong. The Satan was too strong in that case. It's not easy to take money from non Shomer Shabbos money. Today we take money from them. Why do we take money from them in shuls I'm talking about? Why? Why do we take money from people who don't keep Shabbat? They're not allowed to. He made money, he worked on Shabbat. How do you take his money? Hafla. Hafla? Oh, it's all in the same pot? There's a different answer, huh? To be Mikhail Voto. If you're gonna if you're not gonna take his money, he's gonna say, Ah, it's a rabbi. they're all they all think they're better than everybody. Who do they think they are? Who do they think this? Okay, He's never going to come back again. Anyways, he's going to call you. Anyways, he's going to call you an afiris. So you might as well get the money. He's called afiris, anyways. <laughs> the point is, is, sometimes you know it's hard to deal with these things. So the yesod is called kol, kol, right? When a person does tikkun for the yesod, you have to understand, not only tikkun of the yesod is when a person does zar lavatala. Not only. Also when he has carry, you have to make a tikkun for that. That of Rav Nachman and Breslev said, say the ten capitals, capitals, and dip in the mikveh, that only works for zara that comes out of you when you sleep, when you weren't thinking about shutoyot. That day. That day. Oh, that day. day. That day. <laughs> But let's say you were thinking of the chimichangas and you went to sleep at night and so Selene came to visit you. That's not fixed by 10 capitals. Huh? Oh, I don't fix it. You need a double-edged sword. <laughs> you need a double-edged spear. <laughs> it's very hard to fix the yesod, very hard. You know, people think people get married. You're married, suddenly your yesod is... Hakol, how are you saying? Nishchak? Nishchak. Everything is good, everything is clean. For sometimes by married men, they could be in worse situations. Worse. Sometimes, you know, two, three months, she gives birth, she's bleeding. The guy's stuck there for three months, he's, uh, he's going crazy. <laughs> so not only single guys go through this Also married men go through the same exact thing Maybe even worse sometimes Maybe even worse Tov, tamakal Bachudah Hashem Yerachem Thank God we're in the fungus of Adam Arishon So they don't pay attention to us too much up there It says over here Kol Does he saw this Kol? Because he takes all the powers inside of him. That's why from the Yisod, you have the power to reproduce, right? This Midah is like a magnet. How does he do that? The Kol, Yisod, gives it to the Amonai, to the name of God, Amonai. Everything depends on the breed. Since the Yesod always has Zivu with the Malchut, sometimes the Malchut is also called Kol after her husband. But she's not called Kol. What is she called? You add a hey at the end and you call her Kala. You get it? From Kol to Kala. Kol Sason ve Kol Zimra. Kol Hatan ve Kol Kala. She gets the five, yeah, kind of five. Huh? She gets it in the zivu. She gets it. Yeah. It says here. Vasod zenema noki Hashem ose kol no tishomim levadi. Hashem says, I am creating the world through kol through the yisod. Shari bekoach hamidah nivru shemayim va'aretz through this midah the heaven and earth were created. Kol tzvaot all the all the heavenly abodes. Mala v'mata. This is the secret to the words. What's in the middle of the word? Kol. 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 And since Kol is the Yesod, when do the Tzadikim use their Yesod? Only on Shabbat. The Tzadikim. Not the Benonis. The Tzadikims. 
Not any any regular tzaddikim. Tzaddik's v'tovlo. So I have tamim chacham. Oh, I can't do it now. Today every uber uh, chacham is a tamim chacham. Harav hagayon. Harav hagayon. How do you know a rabbi is real? When you call him Hagaon Harav. When you say Harav Hagaon, it's everybody's Harav Hagaon. When you say Hagaon Harav, ah, they make the, the distinction. Vasod Hagadol, Shabbat who calls. Shabbat is the Yesod. It's the call. It's the Zibuk. The Kolel, that's why Shabbat has two parts. Zachor and Shamor. Zachor is the Yesod. Shamor is the Malchut. Shabbat. And we wasted sleeping all day. And you eating? Huh? <laughs> no, I heard, I once heard. I don't know. I never delved deep into it, but it's something to it. Apparently, the Ari when he used to sleep on Shabbat, it was before midday. What? Not after midday. <laughs> he would daven vasikin, have his shacharis or Shabbos, rest a little bit. And he would have in Mincha. By Mincha time, it's Mincha of Shabbos. It's Eina Pekicha. You have to be awake. Like a fish. We eat fish in Sudash You have to be awake. So you would be awake during the Mincha of Shabbos. Today we do the opposite. Huh? Yeah, exactly. And Israel, they don't, right? Their Sudash yeah. yeah. so Shabbat is the morning. And, uh, yeah. The first time I was in Israel for Shabbos, they finished tefillah so fast for Shacharis. Yeah. I'm like, this is your tefillah? <laughs> An hour and a half? So all the people are here should move to Israel. Listen, it's... Uh, remember the guy who used to live, uh, who used to live here, Rafi Yushanayv? Yeah. He moved to Israel, Givat Ze'ev, something yes. like that. So he came to America like a half a year ago or something. He came to visit our parents' house. I was there. I came inside. He said, hello. He's like, first thing when I came to Israel, I didn't understand how fast they dive in Shula and Javis. It's so quick, and like, and he was always complaining. Let's get out of shul. Let's get out of shul. I told him, "No, you got your wish. Now you get out of shul early. Be careful what you wish for. You know, you don't remember. I don't remember." I don't know. I remember when I was there. They were davening fast in the place that I was. I think the, I think, I think the regular, the regular places. Maybe in the places where they sing and everything. No, I don't know. And the three Avot, they inherited this Midah called Kol. Besot Zachor Veshamor. As it says by Avraham Avinu, Ba'ashem Berachet Avraham Ba'kol. And what does it say by Yitzchak? Ketiv be ve'uchal mikol. Mikol. Yaakov ketiv be ki chanani elokim ve'iki yesh li kol. You see in the Pasuk, every single one of them is associated with this Midah. The Torah wrote it on purpose to teach you how they're associated. Ba'azel Amar David HaMelech. David Amelech also says, Kol pikudei, kol isharti. Oh, David Amelech wanted this midah so badly, he wanted to be like the Avod Gudoshim. May we be zochet to be like David Amelech, like the Avod, to inherit this midah of kol, and to be besod, bakol, mikol, kol, keni barifotano, baruch atonai neolam. I mean, I don't think so.